Don't miss ECG Cast.com, best place for Pokemon trading card game. We have singles for standard and expanded, sealed products like team decks, booster boxes, and things. With TCG Center 5 code, you will get 5% discount on your purchase. Also, don't miss pre order for Fate Kool Aid starting from April 1st. Hello and welcome back to Pokemon TCG Center. Today we'll be looking at another standard deck that I made, and this is a Mega Heracross Violet Bloom. So, I was looking at a Mega Heracross <coughs> card today, and I was wondering, well, it's pretty strong attack. I mean, 180 for 3 energy cards. Of course, if you have uh, full HP, because for any damage you have on a Mega Heracross, <coughs> it will be minus 10 for each damage counter in it. So if you have 10 damage counters, uh, it will does 180 minus 100. So you, do, you you can do the math. So it's 80 damage output. So basically, Big Bang, Big Bang Horn can be pretty strong um, if you can set it to be worked at uh, turn 1. So I basically go like, well, I can play definitely with the Wild Plume and I can take some... Uh, max elixir so I can uh, accelerate a basic Heracross and I can easily just put a jump to the fourth forest plant and turn one I can evolve into Mega Heracross and I can hit for 180 turn one which is definitely awesome if you go first plus if you can manage to item lock your opponent well you're on the horse you know what I mean and I came across with the idea to play three Heracross uh, with the three Mega Heracross and it definitely works surprisingly so Kind of interesting because once you go first and you are able to lock down your opponent with the Wild Plume, you're pretty much safe um, in the later game. So definitely pretty good engine, as you can see right here in front of you. Um, so I will definitely go through the cards so you can actually see so I'm um, all of them. So oh, sorry for that. I'm running um, two copies of Shaman X, um, pretty much enough for the setup, just because I don't want to um, burn too many space on the bench. I'm playing um, three copies of Heracross and three copies of Mega Heracross EX. Then I have uh, two uh, Oddish Glums and Wild Plumes. Then I have four Acrobikes for the draw support. So basically, um, definitely it's good to have um, <clears throat> four Acrobikes because you can just... It, it is four, I think. Yes, it is four. So four acrobikes because you can discard. Uh, you can look at the top two cards and discard one of them. Put a other in your hand. Uh, two battle compressors definitely good because you can discard um, any cards uh, you don't need and you can put them back either with the revit Revi laser or with the um, uh, two copies of puzzle of time. Then I have three max looks here. If the top, if the energy basic energy is in the top six cards, I can just attach to one of my benched basic Pokemon. I'm running four copies of Puzzle of Time, which will allows me to grab any two cards from my discard pile bank it with my hand. Then I have two Revital Lasers, uh, so it will allows me to grab any two basic any two uh, grass Pokemon from my discard pile into my hand, which is good for Wild Plume, Gloom, or Oddish, even for Mega uh, Heracross and Heracross. Uh, running four copies of Roller Skates, uh, Flip a Coin, and Heads Drop three cards, definitely good. Also have um, four copies of Trainer's Mail, and uh, also have a four copies of Ultra Ball. Moving on to supporter cards, I have one AZ just in case I need to um, scoop up my Violet Plume, uh, one copy of Lysander, and three copies of Sycamore. So only five um, supporters in total. I have also a four copies of the Giant, Giant of the Forest Plants, Forest of the Giant Plants, um, two copies of Lodestones, and eight energies. 8 grass energies in total, so definitely interesting deck list. I tried to play it a little bit and it works pretty good. So before I go to the deck testing, if you were looking for any of these cards, um, visit ccgcastle.com. You can find the link in the video description. And by typing TCG Center 5 code, you will also get 5% discount on your purchase. So definitely don't miss um, opportunity to grab 5% discount on your purchase. So yeah, let's move to the game test so you can see how this deck will work. All right, so welcome to the test time. I start second and I open with the shaming. Hopefully, oh, there's a Greninja break on the other side. So yeah, luckily I can't set up um, on the turn one. Um, even on the turn 2, I'm okay with my Mega Heracross because that Greninja break cannot output that many damage um, before, like, well, maybe it can attack turn 2, but I guess before turn 3 he will not start to attack, but let's just um, see. 
I have two Ultra Balls in my hand, which means that I can um, try to search my deck for one more of Shamans. Oh, so there's um, pretty fast turn one start. There's um, Wally from his hand, and looks like his turn two will be able to start with uh, water duplicates. All right, never mind. Pretty fast, pretty fast Wally. Um, the first card was a Wally, and there's another Die Bolt, so he goes for the Remorite. And it's my turn. Oh. What, what a bad top deck. I have like four energies in my hand. Let's see if I have another Shaman. Yes, I do have. So let's just bench down Heracross, Energy. Let's see what I can find with the Acrobike. Hmm. I guess I can grab Oddish. And I guess I can just Ultra Ball my Oddish. And a energy for another shaman, I guess. There we go. Flowstone to the active one. Um, shaman for a six. <laughs> okay. So what do I need? Let's see first what I can find. Oh, there's a hats. There's a Oddish. Will there be a Acrobike? Yes, there is Wild Plume. So, actually, I can discard Revitalizer and what else? Glum? Or maybe not. Let's just go with Roller Skates. So, I will be looking for a Revitalizer and. Three more cards with a nice so I top deck with laser. So I need to play um, Battle Compressor for Forest of the Jump Plant and for a Glam. And what else I will pick? I will take one more, um, I don't know, maybe. Well, that's just okay. We can discard one more um, Forest of the Jump Plant. Then I can grab. Two more cards from my disc pile. I guess I will try with. I will take um, Force of the Jump Plant and I will take like one more energy card actually. So that's pretty okay for me right now. Um, yeah, I can play Revit Laser. I still didn't play Supporter card, which means that I can take um, Glam and Wild Plume. Evolve into my Wild Plume. Lysander down this um, Remorite so I can slow down my opponent for a little bit. Evolve into a Wild Plume. Um, yeah, I guess I will try to retreat. Evolve into my Mega Heracross in the active spot and uh, just pass the turn for now. So, definitely um, strong opening hand. Let's see if he will be able to retreat. I mean, without playing item cards, he cannot retreat, so he needs to pay like one energy in order to retreat Remorite. But if he do that, he just can't play Water Duplicates. And that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good for me. Oh, Faded Town, you gotta be kidding me. Who plays Faded Town these days? Definitely didn't expect a stadium like that, so I will take two damage counters on my um, active Mega Heracross. Hmm. Well, okay, I mean, two damage counters, not a big deal. Um, still have like uh, two more stadiums somewhere in the deck or in my uh, prize cards. Luckily, I have two Sycamore, so I can find seven more cards. And yeah, I take two damages. So definitely let's just go with the Sycamore. Hopefully I can find Forest of the Jump. There's no Forest of the Jump plant. Oh, that's pretty bad. Alright, let's just end the turn. So there's four... That, that, that will be six damage counters in total after this turn. And that's 60 damage less that I can output with my Mega Heracross. Alright, and I start a little worried about that. Um, 
Let's see what my opponent can do. Oh, there's a judge. Oh, why judge? I have that energy and AZ. Oh, at least I find a force of the jump plan, so that's something. So I will be looking for a energy and a top deck. Or maybe even AZ. If I can set up with the AZ, I can just scoop up my Wild Plume and I can uh, play a lot of multiple cards like Trainer's Mail, Acrobike, and Max Elixir and just uh, put down a Wild Plume. Nope, just just the Forest of the Giant Plant and I don't have energy cards so I can attack. I need to pass my turn, so I'm forced to pass. Unfortunately, there's a energy on the Frogadier and another judge, so let's see what I can find. And again, no energy card. And there's a Bizzle Hand for one. I definitely need energy cards. Let it be energy, yes, energy as a top deck. So just a Big Bang Horn for a 240. Well, luckily, those Greninjas are just weakness on my uh, Mega Heracross, so I can just hit for the weakness. And that's pretty good. I mean, it will be water duplicate for like three more Frogadiers, or maybe it will be just. I, I guess it will be definitely um, water duplicates. He needs to go with the water duplicates. Yes, there's a water duplicate, so that means that I will take one more prize next turn. Um, I'm desperately looking for some more energy cards. No, just another Mega Heracross. Let's just go with another Big Bang. And Ultra Ball. Yeah, I guess AZ will be the best option for me, um, so I can just scoop up my Wild Plume, try somehow to attach few energies with the Max Elixir, um, try to find some more cards with the Roller Skates, uh, maybe even possibly to play another Puzzle of Time, but who knows. At least my opponent cannot play item cards, that's a huge deal for me. There's another energy. And this one is a Splash Energy, and there's a Shauna, so Shauna for 5. I mean, at least he can evolve into a um, Greninja and hit me for like maybe 80. Oh, there's another Faded Town, so that's huge. That's definitely huge. Um, I guess I will not be able to survive. There's like 20 more, and I can hit only for 40 right now. Let's see what I can find with a Sycamore. I need to discard a lot of cards right now for my hand, and I just find one energy card. But will that be enough? I don't know, Big Bang for like 80 only, and yeah, next turn I just can't do any more damage. I mean, I can't. I'm desperately looking for one energy, um, so I can at least use card press. And take one more knockout. So let's see. Yeah, I will take knockout right now, so that's for sure. Um, and two prizes for my opponent, but luckily he still can't play item cards. Same as me. Let it be AZ. No, just the grass. Okay, but I guess that's okay. I mean, I can retreat. Plus, I can knock out with the guard press, and any damage down next turn to my Heracross will be reduced for 20. So, at least that's something. Will I be able to find another Mega Heracross? Um, let's just see. So, I'm looking for one more energy card to be able to knock out um, that Greninja break with a single shot. And it's my turn. Well, still still no AZ for me. Um, let's just card press for the knockout. And two more prizes I need to take. Let's see what is roller skates. Alright, so five more cards left for me. Five energies in this card pile, which means that I only have one more left. Either way, in the deck or in the prize cards. And there's Greninja Break, so... Yeah, he can do a lot of damage with it. 
of course if he have resource to do that so he still need energy card and there's a Wally so that means he will be able to have second Greninja and there's no Greninja from X and Y so with the Water Shuriken that's interesting my turn again so let's just guard press again all right looks like this heracross will actually be able to win this game at the end um, pretty surprisingly i still have az somewhere in my deck i know that so i'm just wondering um, if i have one more energy so i can attack with the giga power next turn Oh, so there's the energy card I was looking for. Um, yeah, guard press for the knockout. And next turn I can just use Giga Power for a knockout. Alright, so there's another Max Elixir. Okay, so we'll be moving on to game number two after this one, so stay tuned. Oh, there's a fisherman, so let's see what he can do. Um, he can grab energy and hit for like, well, Moonlight Slash, that's pretty much all that he can do. But yeah, next turn I can just hit him for the knockout. Alright, so see you in the game number two. Hello guys, welcome back to game number two. I just started and I'm gonna start first, which is definitely awesome. Oh boy. Okay, on the other side, I don't know what my opponent play. I see Hex Maniac. I see Birch, I see some Great Balls and stuff like that. Oh, Heracross with the two Max Elixirs, but they cannot be useful. They cannot be used because I cannot attach um, Max Elixir to my active one, that's that's a bad. Um, top decking Heracross will be that so huge. Oh, three copy of Trainer's Mail I have in my hand, so I grab one Puzzle of Time, what else I can grab? Let's see, second trainer's mail. Hmm, Ultra Ball. I will better stick with a Sycamore. And third trainer's mail for Acrobike. Okay, so I'm still looking for. Um, I'm still looking for a Battle Compressor. Okay, I guess I can grab Battle Compressor. So let's see what should I play right now. Um, Ultra Ball for, I don't know, these two cards. And to be honest, I will grab a Heracross instead of the Shaman. Just because, just because I need some energies to try to attach to my invention to Heracross. Um, let's just cut a whole Wild Plume line. Okay, so the whole Wild Plum line is cutted. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to find at least one energy of two Max Elixirs. Okay, so there is one. And all I can play right now is a Sycamore for the seven. Okay, so there's a Oddish, there's a Forest of the Giant Plant, um, there's a, another Max Elixir. Nothing. Acrobike, energy of trainer's mail. I guess I will go with the trainer's mail. I think that's first energy in my discard pile. Yes, it is. Um, trainer's mail for. I guess ultra ball. Yeah, there's an ultra ball, so it will be a second shaming. But I already discarded like two of my um, two copies of. Puzzle of times. Um, yeah, I just want to get five more cards in addition. Uh, there's a Acrobike. What else I can find? AZ and Ultra Ball. I guess I will go with the AZ. Um, energy to the Banshee one. I guess Revital Laser for like these two bad boys. Yeah, let's just uh, check the future. Um, Rotus Skates, Energy, and a Mega Heracross. But I guess I'm okay with these two, three cards. 
boom, turn one item lock. AZ in my hand. Um, that means that uh, turn two I can hit for 180. Ha ha ha. Yeah, yeah, definitely quit setup, um, which means that this Mega Mewtwo will be knocked out next turn. Uh, that's for sure. Whew. Yeah, I, I mean, I know what I will top deck. I will top deck energy, and I will be able to hit uh, Mewtwo EX for 180, so that's... Oh, that's pretty impressed. Yeah, even with the Wild Bloom. Even with the Wild Bloom, that's not a big deal. It's even better, I mean. I have AZ in my hand that I can just scoop Wild Bloom from play. Um, play Mega Heracross in the active spot. Bench down again. That Twilight Plume because right now I know that my opponents um, waste his Lysander and he will not be able to play it back. Big Bang Horn for 180. That's the knockout. And that's the two prizes. Roller skates and forest of the giant plant. And yeah, all I really need is to one hit knockout this near two EX next turn, and that's pretty much GG. And there's a big back horn for a hundred and eighty and it's pretty much GG so I hope you enjoy watching it so once again there is a full deck list um, if you're looking for any of these cards visit ccgcastle.com and you can definitely um, buy them pretty cheaply and uh, if you type TCG Center 5 code you will also get 5% discount on your purchase so yeah, don't forget to hit that like button or dislike button if you don't like it. But the most important thing, subscribe to my channel for more future videos and be the part of Pokemon TCG Center community. So yeah, until the next time, um, see you in the next video. Have a nice day and uh, once again, goodbye.